Image copyright Twitter on social media There are several accounts claiming to be the mouthpiece of Zimbabwe's governing ZANF party, but it's unclear which, if any, are official, and what links they have with those currently in charge. News networks across the world have been reporting on the seizure of power by military generals in Zimbabwe. Many media outlets, including the BBC, reported posts by the unverified Twitter account at Sunu underscore PF which claims to be the only official handle for the ZANF party. But it's far from clear who is in control of the account and what their connection to the party is. The account was described as a fake by PRI in 2012, and has previously adopted a tone at odds with what might be expected from official accounts. Its Twitter history is of rants and proclamations about agraphy, ex-Benedict and imperialism. Several journalists in Africa, or specializing on African issues, quickly derided the reporting on the ZANU-PF account. Matina Stevis Gridniff, Africa reporter at the Wall Street Journal referred to it as a parody account, but said she, too, had earlier mistakenly retweeted its content. Alistair Jameson, from NBC News London office, tweeted he was trying to establish whether the account was not to be trusted, but could not find the evidence. The confusion about who's running the account ISNT limited to outside observers. At times ZANF officials have publicly wondered who is running the account. In 2013 another account, reported to be that of a spokesman for the ZANF party, tried to urgently establish contact with the person running the at Sunu underscore PF handle. It is not known what contact was made between the account at Sunu underscore PF and the ZANF party. In a surreal turn of events, the unverified account was accused of being a fake in 2016 by a parody account mocking Zimbabwean President Robert Mugabe. In the post the fake Mr. Mugabe claimed the official party account was at ZANF underscore official. The at ZANF underscore official account is another which has seen a popularity boost after recent events in the country. It had slightly over a thousand followers in 2013, a few thousand on Wednesday morning, and over 10,000 by Thursday morning. Again, it's unclear what connection the account has, if any, with the party leadership. It has tweeted infrequently just 535 times since 2013. Unusually for a party account claiming to be official, it did not post at all during 2014 or the first half of 2017. The account became active again in August with a post stating that it, and not the other account at Sunu underscore PF was the real deal. Perhaps unsurprisingly, social media users replied expressing their confusion and questioning the legitimacy of both at Sunu underscore PF and at Zanif underscore official. Look at these jokers, posted one Harare resident, both from the same tree. Get verified so we know which one is real, suggested a business analyst from East Zimbabwe. And now we don't know which one is the fake one, joked a third user from South Africa. The lack of clarity over who is running these political accounts extends to another Twitter account, one claiming to be the youth wing of the party. Posting between 6 and the 14th of November, the account at Ilzanif1 was highly critical of former vice president Emerson Manangagwa and General Constantino Chiwenga, and supportive of Grace Mugabe's bid for the vice presidency. However, since the military seized power on Wednesday morning the tone of their posts had radically changed. It sent out tweets praising the gallant Zimbabwean army which was professionally and PC carrying out the National Democratic Project. Some have been left questioning if control of this account has changed hands. But why has there been such confusion over Twitter accounts? Some see it as a symptom of a wider problem in the representation of African users on social media. Depo Dendier took aim at Twitter for not verifying African accounts, arguing a lack of verification causes confusion. Replying to Sally Hayden, one of the first journalists to raise the alarm over the sighting of the at Sanu underscore PF account on Wednesday morning, fellow journalist Kaylane Hogan asked if there was more credence and respect given to nameless journalists in Africa, or better yet Zimbabwean journalists and researchers, maybe this wouldn't be such an issue. The confusion reflected the foggy situation on Wednesday morning, with Zimbabwe's media not covering the takeover until the lunchtime news and organizations involved avoiding the term coup. Other media outlets have run footage from September, believing it to be showing armored vehicles approaching Harare on Tuesday. Several newspapers and websites claimed Emerson Manangagwe had returned to Harare from exile, using a still from a video filmed in August of the former vice president arriving at Manyama Air Force Base to support this claim. Image copyright of Fadza He Mahir image caption This image was tweeted by Fadza He Mahir, advocate of the High Court and Supreme Court of Zimbabwe, of people being detained by the army multiple accounts, some switching.
Their messages, many accused of parody, international journalists uncertain which can be dismissed, local journalists hesitant, and a lack of verification on African Twitter who to believe on Zimbabwean social media remains unclear. Live page latest updates you can follow BBC Trending on Twitter at BBC Trending, and find us on Facebook. All our stories are at bbc.com trending.